Hi guys, welcome back to the second part of the interview where we're going to talk all about Messina City. I think this is really the more important part because you should really pick your university based on where you're going to live for six years instead of like what the best ranking is, in my opinion. So I'm talking to Faris again. Uh, hello again. Hi, hi. Welcome, welcome back, guys. <laughs> part two. I, I salute you, really. <laughs> Um, okay, so how about we start with a just a brief overview of the city? Like, what is student life like there? What is it like living there? Do you enjoy it? Is it warm? You know, we'll talk about like the weather and transportation and the cost of living. But like, if you could just like summarize the city in a few sentences, how would you go about it? Um, okay, that's a that's an unexpected question. Um, I'd say, Messina, it's. Um, I wouldn't say it's a student city, but I wouldn't say it's not a student city either. So it's like it's like, a, it's like the sweet spot in the middle. This is this is how I describe it. In my opinion, we're talking weather-wise, it's just it's normal subtropical Mediterranean climate, you know. So in winter, it's not this hot where I'm in pain because I had some painful episodes in Rome. Really, here it's just really really. Here it's winter. You're cold. You're getting the winter vibes, but you're not suffering. It's amazing. And uh, in the summer, I, you expect it to be hot because it's an island at the end of the day. But come on, you have the beach like two steps away. So you have no excuse. Just go there and jump. Um, other than that, yeah, I'd, uh, I love, like the nightlife is amazing, in my opinion. Uh, but it, it, it comes with time again. It doesn't, uh, it's not like as soon as you get here, you get to know what to, you have to do and stuff like that. It really comes with time and figuring out places and stuff like that. Because when you put in mind, like, for example, Messina is not like Rome, so not a lot of people have been here, not a lot of people can give you advice on what to do, not even Google Maps can help sometimes, you know, so it's like just you with experience going around, seeing different places and deciding to try them out, you know, right. or most of the times what we do is, because we have no older classes, so we talk with, to, with the people in the Italian course that are older than us and that have been here for a while, and they usually recommend a lot of cool things, a lot of cool things. A lot of, uh, of course, everybody here is here for the drinking. So a lot of cool bars, a lot of cool restaurants, a lot of everything. And everything is very close to the center, which I assume this is where you would want to live. And so like you, like, you wouldn't be suffering really. You would go have a drink or whatever, and then you would just end up being, you know, passing out in your bed, which is, in my opinion, the coolest thing ever, you know? Uh, yeah, apart from that, uh, this, is, this is how I describe the city, really. It's, nice. uh, I can dive, dive a little bit deeper. Since we already talked about the tuition fees, because uh, it's very cheap, I think that the life here is super cheap as well. Yeah, like, could like, you give uh, me, like, an estimate of, I don't know, how much it costs to go to a restaurant, uh, like, the accommodation fees, like, a general cost of living, say, for a room in the city center, a private room in a shared apartment, like, what is the accommodation cost? What is the transportation cost? How do you get around? Like, give me a everything to do with money in Messina. Perfect. Uh, so let's start with accommodation because it's the, I think it's the heaviest part of the uh, expenses. It's super cheap. When I hear some stuff about how people, like uh, how other cities are, it's nuts. Uh, for example, I live in an apartment that's two bedrooms, a living room, a uh, bathroom and a kitchen, and I only pay 500 a month. Okay, that's of course excluding all the expenses. So um now i don't have a roommate but when i used to have a roommate i used to only pay 250 you know wait oh my god for a second i thought you meant just your room was 500 and i was like that's pretty average no. <laughs> you, two bedrooms for 500 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh and my god like, that's so cheap no listen i didn't get to the good part yet it's even like newly renovated you know it's in a cool building security all that stuff you know it's like it's the whole package, but again, it's without the expenses. So I get to pay the electricity, I get to pay the the internet if you if you get to have one, and what else? Yeah, you also get to pay the condominium, which is the like the expense in order to for them to maintain the building, keep it clean, and all that. Uh, it ends up with me paying at the end of the month with everything. Okay, uh, it would go to like 300, 320 euros, and that's considering other cities in Italy. That's nothing. Yeah, I that's have very one of cheap. my friends that lives in that studies in Turin. He's living with another, uh, like he's sharing a room, not an apartment. So I'm sharing an apartment. My friend is sharing a room, and he's paying 500 euros. This is this is absurd. This is too much. That you is know? absolutely uh, crazy. 
Yeah, yeah, I know. So apart from this, getting this out of the way, uh, what I use for transport before getting the bike, I used to use the bus. And we used to have, uh, the university gives this very cool uh, subscription in which you pay 30 euros a month, uh, a year, I'm sorry. And you get to have all the transport you want. The bus, 30 the tram, euro a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very cheap. That's what very we pay cheap. a month here in Rome. <laughs> well, you have to keep in mind that you only have one tram line and you only have one bus line that you actually use. You know, there's no metro there's because it's a small city. So you end up just using both of them, but they're more than enough. They, they can get you wherever you want to go, you know. So in my opinion, 30 euros, getting on the bus, whatever I want, taking off, whatever whatever I want, not having to stamp a ticket, not having to think of the of buying a ticket, all this, it's amazing. You can even have it on your phone, you know, things are just easy. Yeah, like, I like it. Uh, talking about food, I think, I, I, I'd say it's average, you know. It's like walking into supermarket in Rome, it's the same thing as walking into supermarket in Vicino. There's absolutely no difference. The difference is you would see in bars when you go grab a coffee. Like uh, when, I, when I'm in Rome, usually I would go grab a, uh, you know, a cup of coffee and I would pay, for example. I don't know. The minimum I've paid in Rome was 90 cents. Okay. But usually it would, it would be up more than one euro. Here, the usual, the normal value, and if anyone makes you pay more than this is robbing you, is 60 cents. So I, I think this is a good way to, to compare things, you know. Plus you have granita. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, always hearing about Granita. Um, it's, uh, it's magical. Okay, and you said it's not really a student city, and you don't really know about the activities. But what kind of activities are there? Like, if you like, there's aperitivo, which is an Italian classic. There is going for dinner. What other kind of things are there to do? So everything that's Italian, you'd find. Okay. So anything related to restaurants, related to drinks, related to uh, going going clubbing, you would find uh, not like not many clubs in the in the winter because you only have like uh, two, like three big clubs in the winter that open, but in summer it goes nuts because Messina is a uh, like it's on the sea, so on summer you get like there is this seaside part where it's full of restaurants, full of clubs. In the summer it's beautiful. You know, in the winter, no, you only like the nightlife is, uh, you know, it's it's wintry, the nightlife. It ends early, stuff like that. But in the summer, it's amazing. But still have a nightlife, though. I'm not saying that it's not. Like, you can still go to clubs, you can still do whatever you want. Just your options are not locked. Um, While in the summer, you have a lot of options. What about traveling uh, to other parts of the island? Yeah, yeah, I was I was coming to this. Oh, okay, so sorry. Usually what, what, usually what my friends and I do, because there's not much to do in Messina, and it's very well connected to the other parts of the of the island. So we end up having like uh, picking a weekend. I was like, guys, let's spend Saturday and Sunday, or it can even be like Saturday, or even it can be a single day, it can be a whole weekend, doesn't really matter. And we go to different places. So the most common place that we go to is Taormina, which is uh, like I think it would be the most uh, famous city in the province of Piscina here. And it's 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 like very very touristic and it's very close. It's like a it's a one hour train ride. Sometimes we go to another city it's called Milazzo. What I'm trying to say is is that there's not much to do in the city itself, so we end up going other places. You know, uh, other than that, I have uh, like uh, I train football, so like but I still again it's the same problem. You have to go far away to to to, to the training, for example. I have some of my friends they train volley volleyball, so there's stuff that you can do. You know. But it's it again falls back to the, the problem of find first of all finding out about it, and second of all uh, like transportation. So the, the the advice I would give to everyone: ask around, don't be shy. Ask Ooh. around if you ever want to do anything to say, I want to do this. Do you know if where I, where I can go? And um, so or, uh, or one of the electric scooters. I I know yeah. that like uh, Sicily's most famous cities are obviously Palermo and Catania, and I, I can see them on the map here compared to where Messina is. How easy is it to get to these like major cities because they're a lot more touristic and there's like a lot more to do. Uh, that's de definitely. Um, personally, my friends and we always go to Catania because Catania is like one hour and a half away. So it, it, you can leave in the morning, come back at night. It's it's easy. Oh wow, it's that uh, close. So been, I thought it would have been yeah, further yeah, yeah. from the map. Okay, that's awesome. No, 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 it's not. It's, it's super close. Uh, so that's cool because uh, Catania is the closest thing you can get to an actual like metropolitan uh, city in here, here in, in at least close to Messina. You know, 
Palermo, of course, is way more better because it's the capital of Sicily, but it's literally three hours and a half away by train. So if you want to get there, uh, it, it wouldn't be nice to get there in the morning, for example, and come back at night. It wouldn't be, you know, it wouldn't be convenient. So we don't end up doing it, but we do it for the weekends anyways. Like, again, for, going back to the same point, Messina doesn't have a lot to do in the sense that it's not that touristic. It's not that... Uh, and it's not like like it's not like Rome. It's not culture rich, you know, because of uh, what happened during the earthquake in 1908. I don't know if you know about this. It was completely destroyed. So in 1908 came this. Uh, I think it was the strongest earthquake in Europe, and it completely destroyed Messina. Completely destroyed it. And when they rebuilt it, they rebuilt it in a way and it's like a checkerboard kind of thing. So when you live in Messina, don't expect to be feeling like you live in an Italian city. It's really, it's way modern than you'd expect. Yeah, you wouldn't find the San Pietrini, for example, which are the... The like little cobblestones. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You, it's really super modern. And the reason why is the, is the earthquake. So whenever you want to feel Italian, you'll probably end up going to Milazzo, Taormina, Catania, Palermo. You go around. Yeah. That, uh, what that's, about that's what getting to the mainland? Like, can you take a boat to go to? Yeah, so you have two options when it comes to this. You can either take the ferry, which is like super, it's like two euros, super cheap, and it takes like 20 minutes. And it uh, it takes you to the other side, of, to, to the mainland, and you land in the station itself. So if you're taking a train from there, you don't have to try and figure out where, like, what should I do next? You're already in the train station, you know? Or your other option is, if you're just lazy, you can just get on a train that gets on a ferry. So the train itself... Wait, the train goes yeah, on yeah, the ferry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What? Cool. Yeah. yeah, I know, right? And then you get you get the chance to actually um, like to go out of the train, and then you'll just be walking in the ferry. Uh, to me, at least, it's cool, because you keep seeing Messina and Calabria uh, like in front of each other, and the, I don't know, it's a mood, you know? That's crazy. So, yeah, that's it. That's... That's a lazy option. However, it takes longer because you need to, like the the train needs the whole train needs to get on, on the on the ferry, you know. So it takes way longer than if you're just having the I, I don't know called the human ferry. So yeah, that's it. And both of them are both of them are like more or less the same price. And the trains are also two euro, like to go to Palermo and uh, to Catania. No, no. No, so no, 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 definitely not. But it's it's cheap. So a train to Catania it would cost you nine euros, uh, but but a train to Taormina, for example, it would cost you six. A train to Milazzo would cost you four. So it really it depends on the distance. So the longer the distance, the more expensive. As a uh, as you know, that would make sense. Okay, but it's yeah, still like it. relatively cheap. It, it is. It is. It is. Uh, I think living here is. I definitely, definitely, I'm not, I'm 100% sure living in, in Messina is way cheaper than any other city. Yeah, for A lot sure. of people, uh, like, I get this a lot, the comparison between Messina and Napoli, because they're both the ones in, in, in the south. Um, I don't know, academically speaking, I have no clue, but I know for a fact that Napoli is not cheap. So I mean, it's, if, I uh, think it's cheap when you compare it to, like, Milan and Rome and these other places, but... No, like Messina will definitely be a lot cheaper just because of its because it's an island. Definitely. Like, yeah, De definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, so, so. so just to finish up, because I feel like I've, uh, you know, I've learned so much. But just to finish up, what type of student do you think Messina is perfect for? Like the example I always give when I say Rome, I have to say that you have to thrive in chaos. You have to be drawn to metropolitan and chaotic and dirt and you know you, you kind of need to love city life what kind of student do you think messina is perfect for uh, that's a particular question i i i'm not sure if i have a, like a, an immediate answer for this like i may need some some time to think but i would it definitely have to, you have to be thriving definitely 100% because it's, it's not easy. You have to figure out a lot of stuff on your own, you know, a lot of stuff on your own. Facebook, there are no Facebook groups. There are no, again, as I said, Google Maps is not helpful. Uh, there's really no one to talk to. You really got to figure stuff on your own. You, know? you have to be so super independent, kind of that, adventure. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you, you really have to be outgoing. Otherwise, you'll just be staying, like, 
the, the perfect way I describe us amazing. The perfect way I describe a student in Messina uh, is an opportunistic student. When you find an opportunity, go take it. You know, don't wait for it to come. Okay. To go go out there and look for it seriously. And then, uh, and at this point, only at this point, I think you'll enjoy the city because you can fall on the other side of the spectrum where you can just be, you can stay home, you can do nothing. And unfortunately, it, we all know where this ends. You just, you, you, you really, you'll have a bad time, you know? But on the other hand, you can just think about it. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm here. I might as well, you know, I'll go out there and I'll see, I'll see what's uh, like, what, what we've seen as high, like, uh, is holding up for me. So, I'm a professor that's that's really cool. That's really interesting. I think that's the most unique answer I've ever gotten to this question from all the other students I've interviewed. Pretty cool. I'm glad. I'm glad. Um, okay, so I honestly feel like I learned so much. This was super in depth. This was super awesome. So I really, really, really want to thank you for taking the time to talk to me today. It was my, it was my pleasure. Really. And uh, helping other students. And yeah, I guess uh, this is the end of it. So. I'm going to say bye to everyone who's watching and yeah. Goodbye guys.